Okay, guys, welcome back to Pope Does T PLTW. Um, we're continuing on with our Lego block part, and um, we last left off with the upper hole diameter, and this is a part of activity 8.2, which is parametric constraints. And so our next thing that we're going to do is the lower hole diameter. And once again, I have my Lego block table open on the other screen as well as the diagram of my part from the instructions. So if I look at my table, it says the lower hole diameter is D6 minus 1 16th. Um, but to get my lower hole back, um, I'm going to share the sketch that I just made in order to see that point. And so now I can click on that, get a hole, and this one is going to be D6 minus, this is 1 16th, close that, and I'm going to hit OK. And so if we notice now, once again, um, Inventor jumps us around with the pro with the parameters. So D13 is my lower hole diameter. So I'm going to note that on my chart here, just so I can keep track of what I've entered and what I haven't. Then it jumps down to D18. So I'm going to put lower hole depth. Sorry hole depth and then I'm going to put for D19 lower hole paper and I'm going to hit done okay so we got that established now but that kind of messes up our chart again so I go back to my Lego block table and I'm going to type in D18 and I'm going to type in lower hole depth. And we're going to come back to that here in just a second. And then I want to insert a new row. Whoops, didn't do that right. Um, I want to insert a new row um, to account for the lower hole taper which is going to be D19. So it's important that you track with your um, values and what your dimensions are as you go along so you don't get messed up on your part. All right now this next bit is uh, kind of tricky and this is the last bit that I'm going to show you before you let you go on your own. Okay, so our next dimension, which is going to be D20 now, um, is the right to hole center. Um, so we're going to go back to our sketch. And if I remember, if you remember from the previous video, okay, the right side is actually um, shown here on the bottom of the screen. Okay, so I'm going to go to the home view here. Normally, we don't do 2D sketches in 3D, but I want to make sure that we understand where we're coming from here with this, with the right to whole center. And we're going to do this to the first point or the lower hole. So I click on dimension, get the right side, then I go to this point, then I drag it up. And my function is D6 plus 0 0.125. And notice how we changed the lower hole diameter here. So not D8, but it's actually D13 on our chart divided by 2 because we want that to the whole center from the right side and that moves it up that way. So let's go back to finish the sketch and you can see an FX here and you can also see that that lower hole got moved up. So we'll check our parameters, um, D20, and we're gonna type in 
right to whole center. So it's always important to keep up with our parametric chart as we're going through this. I know it's a lot to keep track of on this, but the benefits of this are that something is going to be totally scalable. All right, last thing I'm going to show you before I let you go on your own is the whole center to center. So I'm going to go back into here, and um, I want to dimension between the two points. So I'm going to drag that out, and according to my chart, that's going to be D4 divided by 3. And I'm going to hit Enter, and it's going to narrow that um, just a little bit, which is fine. And actually, um, instead of D11, this is going to be D21. So um, you're really going to have to edit your chart and look at your parameters as we go along in order to get things um, correctly situated. So for right now, um, this is all that we're going to do. Uh, and you, I'll leave it up to you to finish out the rest of this part. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.